Douche. <laughs> Douche. <laughs> Hey guys, how are you doing? Didn't know if audio was on or not, or if we were doing a stream. We're about to get started for the live show today. This is an extra show, um, and a lot Laptop's of you are curious way, why we're uh, doing extra shows. We're doing that because John and I are heading out of town, going to Berlin next week, and also... Um, then we're going to Cedia. The whole team is going to be in Indianapolis after that. So I know John likes to cover me up. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to start the Google chat because everybody wants the Google Hangout. Yes, everyone enjoys the Google Hangout. Even we need though, to get that started. Like I know, but it's a pain in the ass for me to do this. Why don't you have uh, somebody else do it? Because you have to log in as me. Why don't you give somebody your password, <laughs> like me? Yeah. Like Why don't you give me your password, John? No, not going to happen. <laughs> Well, that's true. <laughs> they have key loggers on everything. That's true. Not okay. You want to see him uh, cluck like a chicken? Not again. <laughs> what is up with you and chickens, Dave? Uh-huh. <laughs> you only wish you could really get me to do that. It's funny how integrated that block block was in your lab. That cluck. Okay. Block so. Block. so <laughs> how's this? So uh, those of you, yeah, who are who are already here, um, Journal. if any of you are not familiar with what we've been doing, we are going to be recording this uh, for play on cable television later. So you will see us break for commercials. You will not, however, see those commercials. So don't get freaked out. That is for later. And um, but you will watch hold that TV. thought. Hold that thought. Hey guys, I can tell you were looking at me like, shut up, Hey Callie. guys, I'm going to mute the microphone on the Google Hangout uh, uh, laptop here while we're doing the other so you're not getting both uh, back and forth, okay? So uh, uh, we'll be talking live on, on, we're already live on the other stream as well. So here, I'm going to mute it. Okay. John, you're blocking Callie, they say. Yeah, that's I inconceivable. <laughs> Uh, Monty, are you feeling okay? I saw you no. say earlier in the chat room that you were going to lay down and watch. I hope everything's okay. Yes. Are you ready for I'll, this show? No. Are you going to keep your cup on the table? Apparently no. I guess not. <laughs> Did you publicize the Google Hangout or do I need to do that for you? I, I don't know. I think I made it public. Do you have enough Almost followers? Thought you could make it oh, by using God. His <laughs> No, I don't. I'm not the great Callie Lewis. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought you that was are. funny. All right, Monty. Well, is that Monty Hall? No, it's not Monty Hall. Who is ninety, by the way? So these covers are from. Um, from. Talk about it on the show. Black black covers. Yeah. What are you doing? Okay, Callie. I need you to scoot over to your right just a little bit, please. Just a little bit. <clears throat> Where'd you put your drink? Underneath. You're going to knock feet. that over? Ah, I do it every week. I never knock it over. I need you to scoot over to your left. I'm sorry, excuse me, Kelly, to your left. So go back where you were and over some more. Just a little bit. There you go. John, you scoot in. Because she's hogging up the whole table and just got me relegated to a corner. Ah, Is that the I sat down where I was told to. Because you got those apps I can't. There. I don't want to have to get closer to her. I know. Did those I, make you itch too? Is that okay? Yeah. Is my camera still on me? Indeed. <sighs> You're using a straw. How cute. I thought it'd be fun to have a straw. And I custom, I custom made my straw. <laughs> I am not. Because my straw was too tall for my cup. So I yeah, just snipped off it. the top like three inches. My hair is not playing nice today. Oh, our Bigelow. Put is cup holders on the edge of the table. That is a good idea. That is what we need to do. That's a very good idea. Get a new table. Uh, GK Dave says only girls use straws. <laughs> GK Dave, this is a Long Island unless, iced tea. Yeah, exactly. Unless there's alcohol in there. <laughs> Monty, go get yourself a drink. We're not starting yet. It's freaking hot in here. It's getting hot in here. Hopefully 
Don't go to the next line, please. Is that Callie's camera? Yes, it is. Then why am I all up in your camera? Because of 4-3. Framing. Oh. Yeah. Why are you not all up in my camera? Oh. I'm all up in yours. You're not all up in I mine. I can't believe that you cut a, me out. That is a ploy. They cut me out. It's a ploy to get me on camera more than you. I don't blame them. GK Dave says you still don't use a straw. <laughs> Even if it's Fine, you know what? Here's here's like here's a straw. Okay, there you go. Gone. No straw. Okay, fine. You just caved into peer pressure. Yeah, I did. Can't believe you did that. That's because that's because that's one of the guys who likes to throw me out of airplanes. And uh, so you tend to do what those guys yeah. say before they might throw just you. undo a strap here and there. Because he's gonna just, throw. I think they're know. gonna throw me out of an airplane again in October. Yep. So I. It, it'll be at least October until I don't do what GK Dave says. Right. Bruce, what does my shirt say? It doesn't say anything. Mm. Yeah, it's just got it's lines. It's just a shirt. Stripey lines. Now I feel bad that I don't have a graphic tee on. No, don't feel bad. How are you guys in the Google Hangout? I don't think we have audio on, so you can't actually talk to us, but we're thinking about you. <laughs> I realized that the moment I asked That's right. the question. <sighs> hey, can you get on Google Plus without, or is that you? Without the picture? Yeah. No, that's not me. So somebody got on without video? No, yeah, you don't have to. That's uh, Jarno. You don't have to have a picture. Oh, that was a cool view. Video or, or whatever and whatnot. We have to rethink this. What are you doing? It can, all, it can all be done from back here just zooming. Yeah, we don't have, we don't have a, a whole lot of unboxing-y stuff today. GK, Dave, I, well, my sister has been asking about you. Uh, about, you know, which tablet she should get for her business and everything. And uh, so we discussed at length over the last couple months iPad versus an Android tablet. And we had pretty much settled um, on an iPad for her use. Not that that would be my choice personally, but for her use. And then she needed a, like, she has an event this weekend. She's an event planner. And uh, so. Long story short, I recommended the uh, tab, and she went for it. She likes it. That's how I sold it. Do it again? <laughs> yeah. Hello, rock drummer. Max S is the only person in the YouTube chat room. George Haber is now here, too. Hello, George. And of course, Michael Short is in the house. Michael Short. So you know what? I got some of that. Um, I got some of that stuff on my fingers from last week. Ew. Um, that that powder mm -hmm. stuff. It smells so bad. I can wash my hands. Nice. That stuff stinks. <laughs> hey, uh, JT Webman, how are you? No, I, JK Dave, I'm not becoming an Averizon agent. I just, I sell all sorts of tech just by talking about it, just by people listening to me. I guess that's what I meant. Maybe there's a better phrase. If you come up with a better phrase for saying that, let me know. What are you guys up to other than Monty uh, and GK Dave? I know what he's up to. What are you up to? What are you doing? Have any big plans for tonight? It's Thursday, so you gotta go to sleep. Usually we record on Fridays. Mark Zamora looks like he's ready to go to sleep. Hmm? Were you just yawning? You're Thank you, Dave. You're JJM971, welcome. Thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. Hey, Mark. Yeah. Is there a show tomorrow, Bobage? Yes, there is definitely a show tomorrow. This is just an extra show. We are. Um, uh, getting prepared to leave town, and so we need some stuff pre-recorded. So this is what we call an evergreen show, where it's not necessarily the news of the week. So we will not be talking about Steve Jobs resigning today. That'll be tomorrow, because that's the regular weekly show. 
uh, today, it's really only stuff that doesn't have any timeliness factor. That's fine. Okay. I'm going to put my cup right here. My cup. I cannot wait to get to that one package. My cup I'm has, dying to know what's in it. My cup has its own chair. That's awesome. <sighs> Sorry, guys. We're both... <laughs> my throat... I can't say that. Oh, can make it by using his feet as brake pads. I've been dry lately. Like, my, my throat has been parched. My throat's messed up. What's hey, you wrong know with what? it? Hmm. These laptops vent out the back. Uh oh. They're gonna get hot. There's a little, uh, no, there's not. That's true. They are gonna get hot. It's getting hot in here. Oh no, not again. Hot. I'm getting so hot. John, you are live. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is Ustream live? Yes. But no one oh. Said Skyjack's in there? No, that's from five days ago. Oh. <laughs> he was. Five days. One random username. Can you close your book so we can see what it looks like? Yes, we will do that, but not just yet. Hey, How hot is it in Texas? I don't know. It's so hot that my mother... I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't have a joke for how hot it is. <laughs> it just sounded like that was an opportune time to say. Unmuted now? Yes. Can you guys hear me now? Yes. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? They can hear you, John. Are we going to build something? <clears throat> Today, is that a question? No haters is asking, are we going to build something? No haters. Uh, we are not going to build something today. We are going to do something bigger. Oh, yeah. And better. And there's going to be a lot of flames involved. Literally. <laughs> are we ready? I am. And I am recording. You're recording? Yes, I am now. Oh, good lord. All right. Ready. And in five, four, three. Hey, I'm Callie Lewis. And I am John P. <laughs> I have some awesome robots for you guys. Well, I have even better car stories for you. <laughs> I also am going to take some of your questions. And how would you like to take something and forget all your bad memories? And alien toilet paper? Welcome to Geek Beat Live. <laughs> Hey, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm a little, <clears throat> my throat's a little sore. Are you going to just crap out in the middle of the no, show? No, I'm not. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Geek Beat Live. We come to you each week, uh, both on the, you know, on the interwebs and also on the airwaves. So yes. we, we appreciate you joining us in once again. So for those of you joining us on the airwaves, uh, so you know what's going on, we actually do have the chat rooms going while we're recording this episode. So sometimes we'll reference the chat room and uh, pull questions or pull comments from there. And you can always join us at live.geekbeat.tv if you want to join in on that fun. But we also uh, will have lots of fun with you guys on uh, cable television. And you know what else? What? Dave Herwig is live blogging for us today. Is that the uh, international symbol the, for live blogging? That is either the international symbol of live blogging or of putting you in a mystical trance, one or the other. <laughs> I want to go with the second one. Okay, so he will be putting us in a mystical trance today, uh, and you can join in at geekbeat.tv forward slash live 30. This is episode 30, so Absolutely. it's live 30. And what he'll be doing is every story that we talk about and, mm -hmm. you know, if there's links and videos and all that to go along with it, uh, rather than giving you URL after URL that right. you have to pull up, just go to live, geekbee.tv forward slash live 30. And he's, he's doing the homework for you, he baby. He is. It's, it makes it easy breezy for you guys. We appreciate him too, by the way. He's at GK Dave on Twitter. 
and you that, should follow him. Exactly. That GK stands for? Golden Knights, baby. <laughs> so uh, we get a lot of questions about these covers that we use. They are 12south.com covers. They're called book books. It's a book book. I just like saying it. Can I say it one more time? Go ahead. It's called a book book. And here's what it looks <laughs> like when it's that? here's what it looks like when it's closed. So these are actually two different versions. They look like books. I feel like I should be in Harry Potter. You know, Mark Zamora uh, and I were talking about this earlier. We feel like we should just be walking around in Harry Potter world with our books, you know? I feel like I should smack somebody w with one because these are huge. Oh, John. We have 17-inch laptops here. Why did we put these book books on our laptops? Well, because we have to hide our unnamed uh, ma uh, our laptops. Unnamed laptops. Our I, I, I can't say it. <laughs> that's right. And you guys didn't like my little uh, taped X's last time. Yes. I loved them. I, thought, I, I didn't really like it either. I thought it was awesome. I thought it looked a little weird. I left it on mine. Did you? I can show Behind people right book now. Book? Go ahead. Okay, show, I'll show what them right we now. were doing. See, here's what I was doing. But you guys didn't like my big X. No. That's okay, because the book book. Scott11970 in the chat room loved the Xs. I, so he's writing I'm your with course. you, Scott. <laughs> anyway. So, so those are our book books, and you'll be seeing these. Um, I want to show you guys a picture uh, from uh, Trey Ratcliffe. Our, our buddy Trey. Stuckincustoms.com. He took this at the Google headquarters in Zurich. This is where they go to relax when That's they're the having a tough room. day. I just <laughs> thought it was awesome. I saw him post it, and... Can we get uh, can we get one of those rooms at Livid Lobster HQ? I, I'm, I'm all for it. Let's uh, do it. I want to do it. I tried. Here's here's the thing. I tried to get a um, a pet lobster in the HQ, and John just didn't go for it. But I thought it was going to be brilliant. What no. do you guys think? No, no, no. It's not, it's not going to be brilliant. A, there's going to be a giant saltwater tank up here. B, it's going to be a smelly lobster. C, you got to feed it and care for it. And you know who's going to get stuck doing all that? Me. Me. You're not going to do it. <laughs> You're going to be off gallivanting around the country, and I'm going to have to feed the lobster. Oh, okay, I guess that's true. It's not going to happen. So we should take a moment to thank our sponsor for today, uh, Drobo. We love Drobo. Drobo.com. They are awesome. We use Drobos here at the studio. We have a tower of Drobos, to be exact. We have 50 terabytes worth of Drobo storage. When you care about your data, when you were to protect your data, Drobo is the way to go. In fact, I would say Drobo is the only way to go, even if you don't care about your data. <laughs> Okay, then. <laughs> so, Drobo.com. I next, wouldn't put my data on anything but a Drobo. Yes, that is, is totally true. Up next, how to not get pranked when you leave your desk for a coffee break. Hang on. We're coming back from a commercial now? No. Like officially oh, okay. or just, not oh, okay. Not That's Mark's job. He'll let us know when we're coming back from a commercial uh, break. Are we doing the Drobo contest still? No. Uh, I didn't get the dang thing done yet. All right. Oh. No, you sorry. censored yourself. I did. Did you see how good that was? That was awesome. Guys, huh? are we promoting onemansblog.com slash No. Did you? We, we will tell people, okay, guys, what we're doing right now is we are about to launch a new Drobo contest. Okay. It is 100% my fault that we didn't do it yet. <laughs> we, were, we were supposed Mark to. Mark was like, are we going to do it? Are we going to do it? He was are all, it, do since it? yesterday. Not, <laughs> not, it's not like an hour before he started asking me to do it. It was since yesterday. He was like, hey, do you have the thing ready? And I didn't get it done. So here's the deal. Here's a preview, okay? The preview is, and we'll do it right after the show. I promise. Right after the show, I'll get this out. You need to be following me on Google+. Plus." Because this is going to be a Google Plus contest. In fact, it's the first Google Plus contest we've ever done, or that I've ever seen done, yet. Yeah. Huh? We had a caption contest on Google. Without, yeah, uh, I mean giveaway. Sorry, not not just contest, but giveaway. We're doing a giveaway on Google Plus. I don't know what's going to happen. I have no idea. You think it could just like blow up? John, what do you search for? We're gonna we're gonna blow something up today for sure. Yeah, so you search for John Pose on Google Plus and, and, and you'll find me. Oh, wait. Yes, GK Dave has a link. JT Webman says Google Google Plus is limited to 500 comments. Is it really? 
That's good to know. That. I'm glad you mentioned that. Uh, it's good to know. We might have to post like a second one in case there are right. more thoughts. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. What's going to happen is we're going to give away another Drobo. And basically, what are the deal, Mark? You got to have me in your circle. Any right. any circle. You could make a circle called a holes. Put me in it. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Don't do that. It's okay. So uh, you can put me in a circle. Right. You gotta click the link. You gotta follow the form. You, you have to fill out the form, the Drobo form. So there's a link, and you fill out the Drobo form. Okay. That's all you have to do. Yeah. Now, you can get additional entries if you leave a comment. And if you share it, right. that's up to two additional entries. If you share what I share, mm -hmm. if you reshare it, and if you leave a comment. So we're going to do that after after the show. I'll get it posted. So look out for our uh, Twitter and Google Plus notifications about that. He's John Posazidis, but just search John P O Z. Or go to Live Thirty. Or, or go, go to Live. That's right. That's go to it. Go slash Live Thirty. I'm sure GK. <sighs> GK Dave is awesome. Okay, are we ready to come back from commercial now? Let's do it. Let's do it. <sighs> I'm so nervous. Are we coming up to the first green Yeah. I just don't know what's going to happen. Right. My hair's so flat today. I'm right, very unhappy. <laughs> so you threw us off to commercial? Am I going to welcome us back? Yeah. Or are you going to welcome us back? You, you can welcome us back. Thank you, Ben. That's very sweet of you. Dave is going to try something. So. Okay. Oh, John and Callie are in the Livid Lobster Circle. Aw, so who else is in the Livid Lobster Circle? Mark. Mark. All of you are Mark in Zamora. my Uber Geek Circle, right. Rock Drummer says. Ross LaRocco should be in it. I'm sore. Dave Curley should be in there. <laughs> Bobich. Monty came back after being away, and right, Bobich says go. they're getting a live lobster. Ken Tran should be there. Coming back in Digital five, Phil is in the house. Four, three, two. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome. Hey, guys. Welcome back. <laughs> so uh, we actually have some really exciting stuff later on. Uh, We're going to blow fire. stuff up. It includes fire, but... I don't mean we're going to blow it up, like, figuratively, like we're going to, you know... We're going to get all excited. No, there's going to be a giant flaming fireball. I promise you, a giant flaming fireball today on this very show, that's a fact. Awesome. But first, we do have some other cool stuff to talk about. So, I remember one particular story that you were uh, telling me about your corporate life days. Yes. Uh, where you would get up from your desk, <laughs> go take something off the printer that you just printed, and if you didn't lock your computer, Good Lord. you were in trouble from yeah. your uh, coworkers. You know what it was? It was my friend Jimbo. Ah, uh, Jimbo Jim is Gibson. a troublemaker. Jim Gibson's watching right now. He's a <laughs> sneaky guy. You got to watch out for that guy. Well, what would happen is I'd get up, I'd like print something. He knew because he, you know, I'd stand up. We we're always watching. To be honest, I did this to him too, but. We'll just act Wait, like we'll he act only like, did it to yeah, me, exactly, right? Exactly. So, I would get up to go walk to the printer, and if and you know if I forgot to hit the control delete lock on the computer, oh, he would go over and get on Exchange, Microsoft Exchange, this is way back <laughs> in the day, right? He would send like a page to every, all of us. We had this back in the day, pagers, right? He'd send us. What is it, that it was, anyway? I know, I, you weren't even born yet. Um, he'd send everybody in our entire office a page from me saying something extremely inappropriate. Oh, great. But now, now <laughs> technology has answered the threat of the Jimbos of this world. It has. Something called the Screen Keeper. That's right. So that is, little gadget right there. This is a device. You, you, it's two parts. You, pl you put one on your computer. And you put one on you, like you, you put it in your pocket or on your keychain chain or whatever. And as you walk away from the computer, you set the limit. It'll automatically lock the computer. But here's the cool thing. So let's say somebody goes to the computer while you're away and tries to like hack into your password, right? Because it'll be password protected. They can't get to it. But when you walk back with the little keychain thing, then it'll know that it's you and oh, there, you still don't have to put a password in it. You, it just opens. And they are cheap. Those things are like, I don't know, I think it's 30 bucks on Amazon or something. Yeah. So Some, something like that. So uh, if you work in a corporate environment, I think this is a brilliant you thing. You need to get one of those. Because I'm sure yourself. that stuff still goes on. I know you're old, but I, I'm sure that stuff still goes on. You know what else every office worker should have? 
What? Especially office workers who are on a upper floor with a patio. Well, in order to uh, to have lunch during the day, you could grill out with some barbecue. That's uh, right. There's the barbecue planter. That's this right. This just sits on the edge of your balcony. It's real charcoal. It works just like a real grill, except it's for smaller portions. That is true. This is also perfect for apartments. That's true. A lot of apartments, you can't have a gas no, grill or something. You, you have these huge signs out yeah. on the balcony, no grill, no Never grill. Never stop me, but. Yeah. Well, right, but. <laughs> but I mean, if you jumpy. actually want to, you know, live life by the rules, then you Why go ahead. You do that? And what you do is you get a barbecue planter, you fill it with charcoal, and you mm -hmm. go to town on that bad boy. I think that's pretty cool. I like that. But you can only do that if you also get a branding iron for <laughs> so, your food. So the branding iron, this is really interesting. You can customize what it says. Uh, you can have it say your name, the guest's name. Uh, That's not what I'd put on there. What would you put? Oh, I don't even want to ask that question. <laughs> <laughs> this is $16.99, so for all sorts of fun, that's pretty cheap. That's true. And then after you uh, brand you know, your steaks with something highly inappropriate, <laughs> hopefully you'll make me proud, after you, you do send that, our, send us a... then what you do is you, uh, you take a picture with this new dual-core processor camera. So the Pen, the Olympus Pen EP3 is dual core. It's the first camera running on a dual core chip. And the reason this matters is because it's faster. If you've ever, you know, if you own a digi if you own a, own a digital SLR camera or any, you know, even of the higher end cameras, you'll notice that if you push the shutter release and you take a picture right. and then you want to play the picture back, it takes a second for it to kind of you know, switch into that mode. That's because the processor is busy doing one task at a time. Sure. Okay. But if you add a second processor in there, it could be doing multiple things simultaneously. And that's what they're claiming happens. We haven't seen it yet. We haven't tried it, but right. I can't wait to get my hands on it. It's 12.3 megapixels. Yeah. It will shoot 1080i uh, at 60 it's, frames. It's 60, interesting that it's 60 not 60i. Okay. At P, yeah. But still 1080, 60i. And it shoots in either AVCHD or AVI mode and has a three inch touch screen, 35 point autofocus, and ISO up to 12,800. And it's all it's in only, a micro, like four thirds size. Yeah, so exactly. It's, it's 900 bucks. Could be cool. Yeah, it could be. Not as cool, however, as this next one, which I, I definitely need to get. I thought you would really like this. This is from RDA, which is like kind of a design firm type mm -hmm. of thing. Um, it, it's a bullet watch. So they have a couple of different kinds, um, but Those they have bullets, bullets in the watch, which the is watch. just really, really cool. I think it looks amazing. It's handmade. Yes. Okay. So every one of them is a little, is unique. Look at that bullet. You, it's I like that one a back. lot. That's the back of it. It's a see-through back. And, oh, uh, that's the back. Th okay. Yeah. And you got bullet cases, casings that you can see. And then, so these things are completely handmade. Yeah. Guess what they cost? Uh, I don't know, like five hundred dollars. They're like ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. Because they actually have the really high qu uh, quality watch movements in them, so oh. they're like they're like the equivalent of ten thousand dollar watches in in the movement. Only they're all handmade too, so it's like it sounds like a lot of money, and, yeah. and it is a lot of money, but. For collectors of watches who have a ton of cash, I guess it's not really that bad. Right. You're you're a big watch guy, so I yeah I could see this uh, being being huge. You know, we are going to take a quick break. Okay. But when we get back, you know, I almost forgot that I was gonna take that we need to take a break, but I didn't forget. But if I wanted to forget, when we get back, I'm gonna show you what you could take to forget. Bullet time joke. Yeah, you oh. Matrix bullet time and stuff. Yeah, I didn't do it. Yeah. I didn't do it. <laughs> that was funny. Was I liked nice? that exit hey, uh, a lot. Mm. Really? Did, did you like it? Was, did I nail that exit? You nailed it. So, uh, what do you guys think? Uh, we're in commercial break, but not commercial break for you guys. Commercial break for the cable TV people. Yes. I need you to take your mic and like move it down to the center or something. How is my hair hitting it? Half the time you're looking at Ahead and not sound good. Fada says okay, John? in the in a Dr. E voice, ten million dollars. I have to be quiet now. 
I'm um, talking. I have it pointed a little to the side because otherwise it's going to look way big. Okay. Hopefully that's okay. I'm looking at my computer right now, yeah, and now I'm John. You're John? No, I'm, I'm looking at John. <laughs> and I'm Callie. Are you on mute? People keep asking if your mic is on. Is my mic on? My mic is on, guys. I don't okay. know why. It's uh, volume went out, and now they're drinking. Okay. Hey, don't, don't. If, if they're talking about volume going out, they must be talking on their end. I will tell you if I'm having a Okay. I know. I was just oh. asking. Okay, but we. Okay. What I'm saying is you don't need to worry about checking your mic or anything. Yeah. Don't, oh. What? Mobidge is asking, when am I going to wear that mullet wig for the whole show? Never. Where is my mullet wig? It is gone, John. What happened to my mullet wig? Nobody knows. Damn it, Mark. Where's my mullet wig? Oh, damn it, Mark. Anyway, um, don't forget to introduce the segment. I don't think we did it last time. We didn't introduce well, the segment? Yeah. We didn't introduce the gadget segment? No. Arg. We've been bad about that the last couple of weeks. When we come back... You are going to introduce the science segment. I will. When we come back, you should say, I'm John P. <laughs> and I'll say, I'm Callie Lewis. All right. So are you going to say, like, let's talk about science? Yes. Yeah. And, and let's, talk about, let's talk about science. All right. Are we ready? Ready. Mm. Okay. Book, book. <sighs> G-O-V says, I didn't know this is cable. Uh, it will be soon. We are recording for. We're recording. Um, we're recording. We're recording. We're recording for cable. Yes, exactly. Fee D the six. The launch is soon. Hey, Very is soon. our audio still up? Fee D six twelve says it sounds perfect even in South America. John, can you tap nice. Tap my mic. South America. I'm tapping my mic. Tap the boom. Can you hear the boom? The boom is off. It doesn't matter oh. where it's pointing. Yeah, I know, but why did it get loose all of a sudden? Because we've been messing with it. Oh, you bad, wicked people. We can't find the other uh, clip, actually. We can't find the other clip. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. We've had to keep oh, I don't know. It. Okay, are we ready? All right, we're going to come back from commercial break. Okay, And in five, four, three. Hey guys, welcome back to Geek Beat Live. I'm John P. And I'm Callie Lewis. No, you're not. And I'm not. But you can find him on Twitter at John Pose. Uh, you can, of course, get her at Callie Lewis. We've got some science stuff for you. So I actually, I love science. I, that's one of my big major deals, as you know, if you've been watching for a while. That's because you're a super geek. Pretty much. Um, so one thing that's really interesting is uh, something that is going to help kind of regenerate teeth. Yeah, I am very, very interested in this first one. I've had a lot of cavities in my life. Because you eat a lot of candy. Well, okay, I eat a lot of candy. He but... eats amazing amounts of candy. You've never seen anything like it in your life. And I also drink a lot of Coke. In fact, I wrote an article on my blog a while back because I sat down and did the math and I drink my own body weight annually in sugar, just for, <laughs> from Coke. That's I did amazing. the math, I drink like 185 pounds of sugar annually just from the Coke, not having to do with any other stuff. I'd, it's so not good. So I don't good. care how, but how good you take care of your teeth and something like that, you're gonna get cavities. No, but I won't get cavities if these guys have anything to do with it. That because is true. Because the University of Leeds School of Chemistry, uh -huh. they've developed this new fluid and basically, it's painless, it's odorless, it's tasteless. Well, actually, I don't know about those last two things. But they say it's painless. <laughs> and what they do is they take this fluid and they paint it onto your teeth. And the liquid, when it comes in contact with decaying tooth material, right. it penetrates the little microscopic pores and uh, forms a gel. And that gel somehow 
acts like a calcium magnet and sucks the stuff eh, 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 right. and fixes your tooth so you, they don't have to drill and and all that. And it works in, I, I think it takes like a couple weeks to work. So it's pretty, you know, obviously you're going to have a, a more of a, a more of a process than if you were in a drilling situation. But okay. it's so much better. I would totally go that route then go go get drilled. And you got to think if that works eventually they'll like start putting it in, you know, fl rent, you know, fluoride rinse type things. Why wouldn't they just add that in there too? Well, there but here's yeah, my there question. might be there might be an issue with too much. I don't know. Here's my question. My question is after you get that stuff on your teeth, you know, your teeth have to absorb calcium. Uh -huh. How do you get the calcium? Like munch on some chalk or something? I'm sure there's a better way. Okay. I don't know the answer to that, but I'm sure there's a better if way. If there is, I've forgotten. <laughs> yeah, you you have a tendency to do that. But uh, if you want to forget intentionally, some scientists are actually working with a drug that suppresses... Um, actually, so they're, they're working with a drug that will actually help you kind of forget intentionally. So let's say you have bad memory. Let's say you got robbed or uh, any bad memory you can think of, and I'm not going to go down that route because we could get really bad. Like um, this show. She had to do a show with me. That right. Would be, you might want to forget that. Right. Who knows? So they're, they're making it possible for you to take this drug and wipe that part out. Just that part. Now, here's the thing. I think it could be a really, really confusing world where I take the drug and I forget something and he had the same exact experience and, like, and he hey, did not remember, take the drug. And do you remember when we did that blah, blah, blah? No, I can't, I can't remember that. Uh, yeah, but you know what? Uh, people who do drugs today, they already have that experience, okay? And so do people who just drink true. alcohol. You know, they that's go get true. loaded, they do stupid stuff, they don't... Uh, so you know what, there's this big there's this big debate about whether or not they should develop these right. drugs. These drugs already exist, okay? It's just that the they drugs, just, they do a whole bunch of stuff, and what they're doing is they're making a drug that targets, targets that, that one specific function. Let us and, know what you, know, you think. Uh, you can go to this URL and uh, leave your comments there about it. db.tv forward slash live 30. So we want to quick take a quick moment to thank our sponsor, Drobo. We do. Uh, they are fantastic. As we said earlier in the show, we use them here at the office exclusively for protecting and storing our data and, and they have all sorts of options for whatever purpose you need you can get a four bay drobo you can get a five bay drobo an eight bay drobo they even have a 12 bay drobo that lets you put 12 hard drive imagine putting 12 three terabyte drives all in one chassis and having them all automatically turn into one giant redundant storage array it's yes awesome. So as we promised you, we are going to be talking about, uh, we are going to be doing some Flames. fire later fire. in the day, but uh, it is time for it's a commercial break. After this, uh, we're going to talk about robots as well. So we've got some awesome, good stuff as well as car You tech. know what? You're wrong. It is not time for a commercial break. It is time for crazy odd stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> do, you guys, do you guys do you guys want to uh, finish the Drobo commercial and then go ahead and move on? You, you, look, and it's yeah, but what he are you said doing? it was end. But huh? he, okay, I hadn't noticed you you canceling out or or. Hang on, guys. We're trying to figure out. We got a little. Callie screwed it up. Well, because he was holding out, like it's time, it's time. Time for time for, for that for segment odd. to move on to odd. I thought I thought we were grouping it. No, that was four minutes thing. for science. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I screwed up. I'm just curious, how come we didn't do the dentist video? I didn't realize there was a dentist video. Yeah, there's a video, and you guys wanted the audio, so I was waiting for a time to start. But gosh, y'all just kept talking, and I don't have pictures. No problem. It wasn't that. I mean. You're talking about a fluid. I'll 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 run the video over your talk. I guess. Yeah, you can so you can fly it in or something later on. Yeah. Okay, guys. So what are we doing? <clears throat> so what we're gonna do hang is. On, hang on. Let us. I've got to edit this. Let, let me I was asking what we're doing. Okay. Let me and Mark direct this. So. That's what um, I was. We are. Let's, let's pick up from the um, from the commercial. I can go to a full screen and you guys can. <clears throat> Uh, say a couple more things about going to drobo.com to get more information or something like that, and then I can cut back to whoever's going to tease. Who's going to tease the, 
She's going to tease. Okay. The extreme, well, it's a teaser, so it's both of us. Okay, we'll both do it. Okay, then I'll cut back to the two shots. Okay. And then you guys can move on into the next thing, okay? Okay. All right, hang on two seconds. Maybe mention. So you, you, can say, you can say, you know where you can go more to learn about that 12 bay drobo? Drobo.com. Okay, and then we're going to the teaser? And then we go into the teaser. All righty. Sorry. Teasy weezy. It's okay. Steve Lev says, tease away, baby. Huh? Okay, you guys ready? Mark, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Go for it. All right, you can. Yeah. And five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. 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 And do you know where you can go to get more information about the Drobo? No, I do not. Where? Drobo.com. You can. You can do that. So we've got, we've got some fire coming up for you later. Seriously, fire. Oh, fire. Flames. Literally fire. But right now. We might, be kick, we might kick, get kicked out of our office. We could. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, but right now, we've got some odd gadgets. Um, odd gadgets. I mean, we do there, love are, the odd stuff. there are some amazing amounts of you know, gadgets that come out in a da on a daily basis. And some of them are just pure, huh? Creepy. Some of them are creepy. This, like this is first definitely one. creepy. This is a case for your iPhone 4 <laughs> that has a hand attached to it. It's the hand iPhone case. I just want to say WTF it's when I see by, this. I it's mean, it's made by Strapia. 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 And so guess how much it costs? Obviously, this is a foreign device. Sixty-five dollars. $65. Now, you would know what you I would do? Would you pay $65 for a hand on your phone? If I had that, I would dip the hand in red paint, the fingers in red paint, and pull them out and let it like drip down so it would look like right, you know, right. a yeah, really that bloody, awesome. creepy hand. That would be awesome. <laughs> oh, another weird thing that has come out, and I told you guys about it uh, at the, the beginning of the show, alien toilet paper so aliens are popular we know that oh wow but would you pay like i think it's 6.99 a roll for a roll of for, that stuff for you know aliens in your bathroom oh god you know that right now all i'm thinking about is toilet humor right if we were not on tv right, right now i have you would about, be going crazy my mind i have like at least 10 different jokes to make about all that right one. then let's move on from the bathroom and out into the uh on the patio or your yard where you might do some spray painting. I do like to spray paint things. Do you like to spray paint couches or chairs? I can't say that I've tried that, no. You could by using this stuff. It's Simply Spray Upholstery Fabric Paint and uh, it'll allow you to change the color and the look, give it a fresh <laughs> new look when it's too old. I don't really uh, know about this. Can we paint? This is a little <laughs> weird. Can we paint our chairs livid lobster red? We could, we could. Maybe yeah. that would be okay. What if it's leather? What if it isn't cloth? What if it's leather? Um, I, I haven't seen anything about leather versus another type of material. What if it's but pleather? That's probably fine. Okay. But um, they say it'll be actually crunchy uh, when you first sit on it, like after you've spray painted it, until you kind of wear it in. <laughs> Do you know what else is crunchy? What? Your own personal shell, like an M&M. Yeah, this is a little odd. A little? This is way odd. Why would you go out in public if you want to, I mean, okay, I can understand going out in public and wanting to not be seen, but. This is not, folks, folks, let me just tell you something. If you're going out in public and you don't want to be seen, I want you to know that this next item is not a, an invisibility cloak. No, it's that not is invisibility. To note. It is just this massive little uh, Bruce says he already lives cover. in a shell. Right. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of us geeks do. Um, <laughs> and like, I think they pitch it so that you, know, you can kiss out in public and be private about it. Seriously? Your, your private is invading my public. <laughs> okay, look at this. If, if the giant cocoon that you get your whole body in with somebody else is too much, then you can also get the, um, the little blinder version or you can get the head only version. So you can just cover your head or, or you can play like an ostrich and just pretend that no one sees you even though yeah. they kind of do. They do. They see you and they think, huh? All I want to do, Dave, can you put that big one back up on the screen for just a second? I think it's made of paper. 
You know what I want to do, don't you? Well, Flatworm but, Shake says paper over your head probably cheaper. Look, the first guy that takes a lighter to one of those, that would be oh, hilarious. Come okay, on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, well, after this, we have those robots I promised you, and John's going to try and compete with me with some uh, awesome car tech. I'm out of water. Can I go get some more water real quick? I'm I'll off. be right back. I'm very guys. off today. <clears throat> You're fine. How are you guys doing in the chat room? House of Brew, don't burn it. Only burn it if it's not if there's somebody not in it. I would think that you can burn anything you want. Yeah, isn't it funny that um, they say you know that you can like, you can kiss in public and be private? There's nothing private about two, you know, four legs and a giant. Yeah, white you're dog. gonna get way more attention. There, yeah, that's there, there's nothing public about that. <laughs> Why do you have to make people? U D G I L. Uh, I'm smiling at you. <laughs> he says it's funny to watch my face as I read the chat room. Yeah. <clears throat> How'd you like my comment about your pub, your private is invading my public? I liked that. That was good, too. I stole that from a comedian. Your private is invading my public. <sighs> I my, cannot uh... get enough water. Knox World thinks you're drinking Jack Daniels and Coke. Me? Mm -hmm. Me? Are you? You. She's drinking JD and Coke. That is true. Flatworm shake. I have not. Nobody's mentioned bacon, so that is the reason I'm off. Oh, because nobody's mentioned bacon. Yes. Ben's now I think mentioned he's right. bacon. Rock drummers mentioned bacon. Flatworm has right. mentioned bacon. I'm back on track. There's a lot of bacon. There's a lot of bacon in the chat room. I'm now. also extremely sore. Very sore. So, Why? Because I've been at the gym a lot. You've been at the gym a lot. Yeah. I'm sure we all appreciate the fact that you've been to the gym. But it's kind of like sitting up is hard. <laughs> it's making you like your your whole everything is sore like, or whatever. I just want to go lay down. <laughs> We're gonna come back from the uh, commercial break in a minute, and uh, when we do. Uh, we're gonna hop right into robot time. It's yes. gonna be robot time, guys. Ben says no pain, no gain. <clears throat> that is true. So we have three robots, and then you have a couple of, uh, you have three car things, too. I actually like number 20. You like one number 20? Car, one of your car things? You mean Absolutely. number 19 or number 20? Oh, both. Oh, okay, yeah. Number 19, primarily. Okay. Yeah, all of these have video the, on the robots. All the robots have video. Makes sense. Are you ready for all those robot videos? Uh, 50%, I'd say. Okay. Because uh, you get to hear, at 50%, we get to hear the, you know, noise. Yeah, but, okay, but it's not going to be an explanation. You'll hear it. No, it's not it doesn't not. really have an explanation. Janus Q says, Drobo Robots, and Rock Drummer says, Drobots. Drobots. Sorry, I stole that from you. That's okay. Do it. Robots. All right, are we ready? I'm ready. Hem Hemura Kinshin. Robots. Uh, he will, since I did last time. Which chat are they actually reading? Zenplex asks. We're, we're reading all we're reading three. all chats. All of the chats. Ready? Uh, we're going to come back to robot time. Hang on just a second. All right. Whenever you're ready, Mark. And in five, four, three. And we are back. <laughs> Welcome to Geek Beat Live. I am John P. I'm Callie Lewis. And you and know what? It's your favorite time of the day. It's robot time. So before we get to robots, I just want to mention one thing. As I told you earlier in the show, we have a live stream going on and we have the chat rooms going and we pay attention to what you guys are commenting on and questions that you have. And uh, someone in the chat room asks seven. If, uh, if we actually respond to you. So here's us responding to you. Yes, we do. <laughs> what you said was, Callie, do you ever respond to anyone in the live feed? We absolutely do. Indeed. So let's move on to our robots. First one I have is Morph Hex Spider Robots. Now let's take a look at this video because this is a really, um, th these uh, 
these hex robots oh, are that's creepy. really, really interesting. I've seen one of these in person and I've played with it. And this is this is even more advanced than I've seen. Um, but they're very complicated in terms of building. Um, but you, you see how it's moving around with all, the, all its legs. You have two servos, the kind of controllers, the motors, right? Um, and one has to be much more powerful than the other. The one at the base uh -huh. has to be, or I'm sorry, the one closer to the ground has to be much more powerful than the other. So it can get really expensive, but this is just really impressive that somebody's um, been able to. That thing creeps know. me out. Because it can, that, it can you know move why? its different legs and it different was, positions. That machine was specifically designed to crawl up your body, latch onto your head, and suck your brain out of your it skull. It was not. It was. That's what it was made for, I'm telling You've you right now. You've watched too many alien movies. I'm telling you, that was for its for. Nobody believes me. It's just I think like, it's cool. It's just like that movie uh, iRobot. Nobody believed Will Smith until it happened. Guess what? I'm telling you right now, they're going to suck our brains out. You know Will Smith. Oh, <laughs> sorry, that was me. I can still get jiggy with it, okay? <laughs> Tell us about the, this next one. All right. Because so, this one might be interesting. I, I don't, by the way, guys, I don't know what this next story is, but I can see that it looks like it could be cool. Well, let's take a look at the video so you can see this is a rescue robot, the Gemini Scout, and um, it's built for mining disasters. It could be used for any collapse, though, I suppose, not necessarily just mining. It built so, you know, uh, rough that it can that it can uh, go on different terrain and go in it's different like little, spaces. It's like a little mini tank robot. It, exactly, exactly. I like that. Can so, we attach lasers to it? You could. Okay. The thing is, is that it's it's built so that people don't have to go into a disaster zone without the correct information because they can cause it to, you know, collapse even further and kill more people or hurt more people. So this goes in and they've built it so simply that anyone can control it. It's just an Xbox 360 controller. Nice. Yeah, pretty cool. I, I like it. Um, and, and any robots that are useful are always good. I like robots that destroy things. I know you do. Even though I don't like robots that bring about the end of the world, but I still like robots that can destroy things. And I still don't think you have yet matched the day that I brought the, the big I don't... Des Destructobot in. I still don't think you matched it. You... I don't care what anybody says. Yeah, and the whole viewership of Geek Beat Live disagrees with you. That's okay. <laughs> We've had this conversation and polled you. <laughs> All right, I've got one more for you. Let's see what you think about this one. This is also useful. It's the Prospero. The Prospero. Wait, um, before you get to it, Flatworm Shake says, See, John, someday a robot may save your life before <laughs> it sucks your brains out. That's awesome. So this Prospero robotic farmer is built to just do that. It's a farmer. Uh, it'll plant veggies and plants, and it's designed to understand exactly where seeds currently are so it doesn't duplicate anything. It can communicate with other robots around it so that they're spreading the efforts out in a large farm. Ah, uh, so what you're telling me is that pretty soon robots will be putting the American farm worker out of business. I didn't say any such thing. <laughs> <laughs> Why does this robot look just like the brain-sucking robot we saw just a few minutes ago? Because of the motion that it needs to travel across the dirt. It's this, got the same hex, legs. Exactly. You know what there it is? There are a lot of you robots know what it's that do doing? this. No, you're lying to us. You know what this is doing? <laughs> it's not planting seeds. It's planting babies. This is the big mother <laughs> robot. <laughs> It's going to make a bunch of those little baby robots and they're going to run around sucking our brains out. I'm almost, I'm not quite, but I'm right. almost certain of it. Right. The good news is that later on in the show, I'm going to show you how to blow them up. To blow those robots up. Okay, got it. <laughs> but first, you think you can compete with me Absolutely. on my robots with your car tech? No doubt about it. It is car tech time. Okay, hit me with it. All right, I'm going to hit you with it. Okay, this first one is unbeatable. Okay, everybody knows who uh, Fred Flintstone is, right? I think so. Fred Flintstone, I think it's the safe cartoon to say guy. People know the, the him. Drove his car, he sits in his car, he pedals by moving his feet, and when yeah. it's time to stop, he just sticks his feet out. And there's music. And there is music, and there's a little yabba dabba doo Okay, anyway, well, like this guy. guy, 
this guy thought that that would be the way to operate his own car. And we've well, got a video. He can make it by using his feet as brake pads. <laughs> so here's the cop car going down the road. He's already Check it. gotten the call. And look at what this guy's doing. This guy's got his door open. Now look, he's approaching some other cars. He's approaching an intersection. He's dragging his foot to try and stop his big truck full of How? stuff in the back. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. Surprise, <laughs> surprise, I couldn't stop the 5,000 pound truck as we entered an intersection. What, what amazes me is when somebody, when, when, you know, if you first mention it, right now the cops tell him, hey, pull over, pull buddy, over pull now. over, okay, stop. What, what surprises me is, the first time I heard the heard about this video, I thought, okay, you know, some guys will be going like five miles an hour. Right. It's not on a hill like, or anything like that. And he's going to try and stick his face. He's going that through guy is, traffic. He's driving like <laughs> like 30 miles an hour down the road, okay? Right. In a four or 5,000 pound truck. And he thinks he's going to stick his uh So what happened was he ended up, he ended up hitting four cars. Yeah. And then they took him to jail. Well, what else are they going to do? I mean... <laughs> Why didn't, okay, is he too, in too much of a hurry to just pull well, no, over to know, the side when he realizes he has is, no brakes? The problem is his brakes went out, but he needed to get home, and that was not going to stop him from getting where he needed to get. <laughs> I guess not. Although the police it might, kind but of that did. didn't. That's okay. You know what? <laughs> All right, that beat my robots. I okay. give it up. This, I think you're going to like this next one. All right. Because this next one, you know, sometimes we go eat at Razoo's Cajun restaurant. Yes. And guess what Razoo's. we get there sometimes? Uh, alligator legs? G not legs, oh. tail, gator. You get <laughs> gator sorry. tail. It's, I knew it had something to do with alligators. It's delicious. Guess what it tastes like? What? Chicken. Anyway. That was lame. We get alligator tail, and so the alligator industry, they actually carve up these babies, and they make shoes, and, you know, got, uh, food, and whatever right. else they make. Which we're not going to get into a discussion about, you know, that whole industry. It's delicious. Anyway, what I can <laughs> tell you is that they send 15 million pounds of fat into the landfills every year. Think about it, 15 million pounds of that fat. That is a lot of fat. But that fat is actually very oil rich and they can take it and they can convert it into biofuel. That's interesting. So people at the University of Louisiana down in Lafayette converted 61% of the alligator fat into liquid that is usable as biofuel. So what we're thinking is the 15 million pounds of alligator fat can actually turn into about 1.25 million gallons of wow. fuel. Wow, wow. So, and it's better than biodiesel as it exists currently. Well, it's got more energy content. It's 91% of the energy in diesel gas. Okay. So, I mean, that's pretty darn cool. Very nice. It's very cool. Now, there is one other thing. Wait, wait. will our cars smell like alligator? I hope so. It's so delicious. <laughs> now, there's one other thing. Speaking of alternative fuels. Okay. Okay. One of the big, uh, big alternatives is the electric vehicle. And, of course, we know that we've gone and checked out the Chevy Volt. We yeah, loved we it. spent a lot of time with that. Very cool car. Also, there's lots of hybrids. Well, Ford, this is interesting, Ford and Toyota are teaming up to develop joint truck, hybrid truck drivetrains. Interesting. So who would have thought that a giant American and a giant Japanese manufacturer would go and form a pact and start joint development. Now, they announced it, but they haven't actually, you know, started doing it yet. Okay. It is coming up soon. Very cool. So, what else what also is coming up soon is two things. Number 1, we're going to unbox some stuff. Yes. It's Christmas in August Yay. or whatever day it is. And number 2, we're going to blow stuff up, but hopefully not the stuff we unboxed. No, let's not do that. Okay. Okay, we're in commercial break for those people watching on cable television. Mm -hmm. But for those of you live with us on YouTube, Ustream, and Justin TV, you get to just hang out with us or have to. Sorry about that. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry. I had to drink some water. Water. I had to drink some agua. Nero. So That's how we say water in Greek. Nero. How do you say water in Italian? 
water. Uh-huh. Miss Italian doesn't know how to speak Italian. <laughs> hey, what do you want from me? I haven't gone to Italy. <sighs> what shows that we're not robots? That we drink water? Maybe? Um, yeah. What about jobs resigning? We are going to talk about that in tomorrow's live show. That's so right. what's going on here is we are recording an extra live show because we are heading out of town for two weeks straight. IFA in Germany and uh, Cedia in Indianapolis. So we're going to be quick out. Jaunt to LA in between, most likely. Exactly. So it's going to be a busy couple weeks. So we're basically recording extra shows that'll be restreamed those weeks. Um, and. Uh, we'll so, be, but but net, tomorrow we're, we're is the regular talk, show. That's right. Tomorrow we're going to talk about Steve Jobs because that's really kind of this week's show. This exactly. Week, the one we're doing today is actually a show for a couple a, weeks out. A couple weeks out. But the one tomorrow we're going to talk about. Correct. That's right. Aaron, Aaron Studios, Studios says what? It, are, did you? Uh, What's the land, question? <laughs> did you land on your A key? <laughs> <laughs> you say panty in Hindi. Two things. Yes. One. The mailbag is coming up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we will do it. We will do it. Is Hang that on. international? It's, no, I think it's America only. I said America only. It's it's only in the U.S. right now. Uh, Remember, I think says, I might have promised. Ciao from Italy. Ciao. I know that word. Uh, Max says, says, is it watero? Huh? How do you say water? Oh, water. In Germany, water is. B B B air B I E R E B I E R B. How do you say it? I don't know. He's telling you how to say beer. <laughs> beer. Oh yeah. Oh That's sorry. All you need yeah, water when you're in Germany. Germany is beer. Ah. That is funny. <laughs> that was funny, and I didn't get it. I am an idiot. That was funny. Nurjavan says, "Pandy is pig in Tamil." Pandy. See, we learn all kinds of things. I love you guys. I love that you guys uh, teach us stuff every week. Water, water is Vesi in Finland. Oh. Vesi to the Finns. Wasser, Wasie? I don't know. Wasia? What kind of laptop what is that? What language are we talking on that? I'm still seeing freaking display on that camera. Who the heck turned that on? You're seeing what? I'm seeing the display on this camera. What display? No, no, no. Oh. Okay, guys, we're, we're still messing with cameras and stuff. We'll be back live soon. Well, we're live, but we'll be back officially soon. House of Bruce says the rock star Yay. energy drink in Germany is pronounced David Hasselhoff. David Hasselhoff. Hey, guys, how are you? That was funny. Uh, um, we're, we're live, but we'll be, uh, if you want to come in and sit down and watch or you want to kind of roam around, that's fine, too. Steve Lev says, I, I speak C+. What? Hey, you guys can still hear us, right? Yeah. Right. The screen is black, but you can hear us, right? You want to grab some measurements? You're more than welcome to do that as well. That's right. Okay. All right. What are they measuring? For the robot. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Yes, we hear you. Yes, yes, yes. Measurements. <laughs> No, Audio nothing. is good in Beantown. There yep, is nothing yes, nothing yes. going on here. We're giving away Callie's measurements? That's right. right. Dave. <laughs> okay, what I want to know is if you can't see us, but you can hear us, then type boogaboo in the chat room. <laughs> the secret word what is What are you talking boogaboo. about? They can hear us. Look at, they're talking I, I'm about. I'm not sure. Water in HTML <laughs> is... Open, open water forward slash closed water. That's funny. Nice. I like ben that. Ben says not going to happen. All right, quiet ben on won't the set. Do. I, okay. And in five. I'll come back. Four, three. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Geek Beat Live. We are glad to have you. And I just wanted to be known for the record. What? That while we were at commercial break, I got everybody in the chat room to type in boogaboo. <laughs> that you did. <laughs> you that didn't is, see the chat room. Boogaboo. All I see is boogaboo everywhere. Boogaboo. It's pretty <laughs> Yeah, I just made that word up, too. <laughs> right. See, that's the power. One of the things I love about this show is the interactivity. You know, the interactivity with our live stream in the chat room, as well as the offline interactivity. You guys send us questions in. We want to hear from you, and we um, want to kind of uh, keep that going. So we've created the mailbag where we can Is it have time your, for the mailbag? It is time for the mailbag. Mailbag! 
<laughs> so we can uh, have you guys on the show while it's not necessarily live, but you guys send in questions to uh, questions at geekbeat.tv. All you need to do is send a link to your YouTube video. You can upload it as unlisted and just send us the link. We'll still be able to see it if you don't want the world to see it. Although if you don't want the world to see it, you might not want to send it to us because we're going to put you on TV. Exactly. It's not just going to be us. <laughs> right. It's going to be us. It's going to be the whole live audience and then it's going to be everybody on TV as well. <laughs> but so, having said that, we do love it when you send in your comments, questions, whatever you want to say, just send it to us. Uh-huh. And, uh, you know, we've got a couple for today already. Yes, we have a comment from one of our regulars, That's Ben right. Rothig. Let's, I... let's hear from Ben. Exactly. Hi, Kelly and John. This is Ben Rothig coming at you from Dubuque, Iowa. I wanted to take the time to congratulate both of you on Geek Beat Live's pickup for national television. Hopefully, audiences all around the country will come to appreciate the witty and fun tech news we have all come to enjoy. With that, I will turn this broadcast back over to the two people the viewers really want to see. Oh, so, I am sorry. I you am. aren't used to you aren't used to our visitors throwing off, you know, throwing it back to us. That was awesome. I know that was awesome, Thanks and I so totally much, failed on that. That was cool. We re we really appreciate the comments, and we appreciate the uh, well wishes. So Absolutely. thank you very much. Uh, so very we, nice of you. We also have another question coming from Lauren Nelson. Hey, Callie, I'm Lauren at Rescue the Cows on Twitter. I noticed the other day you were tweeting about using a Windows phone, which is what I use. So I was wondering, what are your thoughts about it? And what do you think it would take for that to become a more popular phone option? Okay, before so, you get into answering that. What? Was his Twitter ID at Rescue the Cows? Yes, I, I, meant, to <laughs> look, awesome. I meant to look that up. Are you a vegetarian? <laughs> I love the name. I love the that name. That is funny. So, I was not rescuing the cows at lunchtime, that's for no, sure. No, you were not. Anyway. But. Um, back so, to the question. Windows, Windows Phone, phone 7. 7. Do I like it? I do like it a lot. Then uh, why doesn't everyone? Well, okay, so here's the thing. I mean, w Microsoft, in terms of their phone OS, has gone through a long history of issues. Uh, time after time, it just wasn't right. People didn't like it. It was clunky. Well, they went through this whole redesign of a couple of years ago with Windows Phone 7, and it's now being released. And it's awesome. It has the Zoom interface. It's very visual. It's, it's great interface. However, that being said, I don't actually want to have one of my own. Why is that? Why would you not want one? I it's, mean, if you're going to say it's so great, why wouldn't you want one? Be, because... Uh, I know why like, I don't want one. It's Why? I don't want one because all the apps, I mean... Yeah, like, it, and it, the apps is really kind of where it falls for a lot of people, I think. Because I, it's like 30,000 apps versus millions over on iOS and stuff like that. I mean, it doesn't have the same... The problem... Gung ho factor either. The problem is that even though it's a great OS, Apple is... I mean, sorry, Microsoft brought it to the game late. Apple already has a head start with a great OS. Yeah. Android is a great OS. And now the problem is yeah. you're too far behind. So is it ever going to come back? I don't just know. don't think it yeah. is. I but, I but I do like the platform itself. So it is time for unboxing. Yay! All right, every week we get packages in, or most weeks we get packages in, and we ha save those packages. We Ex do not unbox them Except until for one today. the show. The no. book books. Oh, that's true. We did open, we open the, the book books. We opened the book books because we needed them for the show. We knew what they were. Yes, we did. And so we opened them. So, so you guys have seen the book books. This was one of the things that we got today. And where can they get a book book? They can get that at 12south.com. 12south.com. Exactly. They Thank are gorgeous. you guys for sending them to us. And they us. feel nice. They're they do. actual leather and they're really good looking and And each cool. one is made uniquely. They're handmade. Exactly. Very awesome. So but what we, else do we have? We have other stuff. Let me see. Oh. Okay, here we go. We've got this one. <laughs> All right. This oh, okay, is from this one's GK funny. Rachel and I gotta, Jared. I got to share the packaging. At Schnelli. Schnell with an E. Can you read the go. package? Do you read what it says right here? It says, no knives. No <laughs> That's knives. That's funny. Okay? They know exactly what we uh, They know how I'm going to open it, but here's the best part. 
your knife away, John. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, fine. No knives. Can we open it without yeah, a knife? It's, I, it's I actually hope addressed so. to you. Oh, why are you opening it? Because you're tough. Well, because this without if knives. If we can't do knives. It's really, I mean, tough. Okay, so I'll just rip it open. <laughs> All right. And then you do what you want with it. Okay, there you go. All right. You got a nice little letter. Oh. So Jared says, I saw the Film Riot guys selling these shirts and thought Film you'd Riot. like it. Uh, got Wayne and Rachel too. So we're twins now, Rachel oh, and nice. I. Oh, nice. I love this shirt. I actually um, saw this shirt on somebody who was wearing it. I think uh, one of our bloggers was wearing it. And uh, I, I just love the shirt. But Our friends over at Film Riot. Exactly. You got to go check them out. They have an awesome, awesome podcast. Thank you, Jared. We also got another little thing here. Okay. This is from Meet Meme. Oh, Meet Meme, the business Meet cards. Meme. Now, Meet the Meme. The Meet Meme cards that you can get. It has all your social media stuff on it. If I'm not you mistaken. You can use a knife on this one? I'm going to use a knife. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, the Meet Meme guys, I think we did like an interview with them. I think uh, Pelpina and the guy yeah, over there. Yeah, over on WebBeat TV. WebBeat uh, TV. There was a whole interview, and uh, they've done some giveaways on WebBeat TV for it as well. And we got a nice little card. Oh, look, there's a card. It says, Nice. Pelpina and rest of the crew at Livid Lobster. Thanks for the interview. Had lots of fun. It was so much fun watching cool. the credits. My kids thought it was cool. Very nice. That's awesome. Thank uh, you, gang. Thank you. Well, that's it for to, um, today no, on the unboxing. Oh. Um, so we are actually going to move on to something else. I'm ready to blow stuff up. You are ready to blow stuff up. I know you're kind of antsy in your chair there. So right after this, fire comes. Yeah. How much time do we have? How much time is there? Not much. Ha Two to six minutes, right? Two to six minutes left? Okay. Okay. We're at 40? Okay. okay, guys. Here's the deal. Right now, we are going to go outside. We are literally going to go outside. Because we're not going to do this in here. Because we cannot do what we're about to do. <laughs> ben says, John isn't going to be happy until he blows up Cali, is he? <laughs> <laughs> oh Please my god, don't blow can you me imagine up. how much trouble I get in if I did that? Okay, so we're going to go outside. Now, here's the problem. The problem is when we go outside, we will not be able to see the chat rooms. Right. Okay, so we I'm sorry. We will come back and we'll do an after show. That's right. Uh, with you guys. Watch but out. Ken's on the cable. Leave your comments and we'll see them afterwards. But we have to head out now to outside. Yeah, so just hold on. All of this. We'll be back in a few minutes, but you're going to get to come with us. I mean, yes, you guys are you're, coming. You're coming with us. So we you, just can't see you. Yeah, you get to watch it. We just can't see you. And what I'll do is I'm going to take the Google chat. Uh, I'm going to take the Google chat computer out with us. Oh, are you? Yes, I am. Okay, guys, hang on. Uh, do, 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 all do, right. Do, 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 do. Hey, guys, in the Google chat all room, right, I'm taking you this. outside to watch the explosions with us. <laughs> so uh, just hang on a minute. Follow Come us. On, Come, on. Come on. Come on. Come on. OK, OK. Hang on. I got to get some ingredients right here. This is our private this, uh, patio out here, our private uh, area with our own tree and everything. Okay, so what do we want He's to got the alcohol. Have you been going out here? Or just Start huh? We'll start out. We'll probably just start we'll outside. We'll start outside, yeah. We'll just start outside. Okay, guys, you guys are going to have access. Front row seats. Front row seats on the uh, Google chat here. Uh, trust me, this is the best view in the house. Well, it should be. I don't know. I don't know for sure, but I think that's going to be the best. I think that's going to be the best view in the house. Okay. All right. Okay, hang on. We're I don't ready. know if we're How ready. How are you communicating? Uh, Dave, can you hear me? Dave, can you hear us? So what can we're going to do is still? we're going to come back from commercial break and go right into the segment. So we've moved outside as it's airing on TV. People have seen the commercials, and they're coming back to this. Do you still hear us out there? This is the behind-the-scenes way we do this show. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Hang on. I'm be not quiet even going to explain second. it. Be quiet for just a second. You're not telling them what we're doing, are you? I didn't say it. Okay. I didn't okay, say just, anything. I just want to make sure that I, I get the camera set up just right. John, where are you going to be for this? Dude? I'm going to be right here. But before the, before the shit goes down, we're going to back away. 
<laughs> and when we back away, that needs to come in and get closer. Like coming straight through. Right there. Yeah, you can see yours too. Oh. Otherwise, we need to keep them like this, about like that, so that we have. Guys, just hang on a sec. We're we're getting. We're adjusting. All, yeah, we're trying to get it all figured so out here. It won't be too far. It, it'll it'll only be a, about. It'll be like here. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what it's going to do. In fact, if you want, if you want, you can just leave the shot like this and not do any zooming on it and stuff, and then I'll just zoom in digitally. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Then just leave it. Yeah. Let's do this because it's hot. It'll, 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 Guys, it is 105 degrees out here in the shade on our private patio. All right. We are about to do this. We're going to do it pretty soon. All right. So, uh, are you going to light it on fire? Sure. Do you know how to work this? No, you don't. See? That was lit. You had it lit. It's a flame. Yep. Squeeze the trigger again. You got to hold that and squeeze the trigger. Oh. There. Cool. Okay. I just didn't see the flame first. Are you going to do it? Sure, if you want me to. Okay. But... What? You're gonna, you got to make sure you get the flame go. You know, you'll have to get the flame going, and to keep the flame going, you hold that down, not this. This lights it, but you have to hold this okay. down for the flame. Okay. And okay. then just about you're gonna right get on the about edge, about like like right there. Yeah. Okay. And all hell's gonna break loose. <gasps> Perfect. <laughs> and in five, four, three. Welcome back to Geek Beat Live. I'm Callie Lewis. And I am John P. This and is not just Geek Beat Live. This is the extreme part of Geek Beat Live. We are outside because we do not want to do what we are about to do inside the studio. That's right. Welcome to the Livid Lobster private patio. And for the folks who are on the Google chat, they've got the front row view. So here's, what, here's what we're going to do today. We're going to blow this thing up. I, I, blow it up? Well, man, I don't, we might blow it up. I don't really know. <laughs> All right, so what do we do here? What we have some do? alcohol, this we have a measuring cup, and we have a water jug. We do. It's a five-gallon water jug, and we call this the we call this the water swoosh. We call this the jug swoosh. <laughs> anyway, here's what we're going to do. We've right. got isopropyl rubbing alcohol. By the way, folks, I think it should go without saying, don't do this at home. Do not do this at home. I mean, it's not like we're trained professionals here. We're just trained idiots, okay? <laughs> Which is what you have to do. So don't do this at home. How much are you putting in there, John? We're, we're going to put about 50 milliliters. All right. About Roughly about 50 milliliters of this stuff in here, okay? Now, this stuff is I'm flammable. Put the alcohol it, wait, pay. put the lid on it. Oh, yes. Put good a point. lid on it, woman. Oh. Just kidding. Ooh, I'm going to pay for that one. <laughs> yes, you are. Now, here's what we're going to do we're, we're going to pour this. <laughs> Into the bottle. Down here, like so. Okay. Now, you want just exactly 50 milliliters? I don't know. Pour a little more, it'll blow up louder. Pour a little less, it won't. I don't know what'll happen. All right. Here's what I do know. We're going to get it all over the container. What we're doing is we're, we're swirling it around, okay? I'm just swirling it around. Meanwhile, notice my hands on the end because I'm kind of trapping in fumes. Okay. Get that lighter ready, okay? All I right. want you, don't get it close to me yet. Light that baby up. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to set it down on the uh, on the table, and you're going to take that. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. I'm going to set it on the table. You're going to take that thing and you're going to get it up near the lid of this, <laughs> and then oh. All right, we're going to step away. Us. Okay, hang ready? on. Hang on. Wait until I get my hand away. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> 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 Can we do it again? Oh, that's hot. Oh, well, be careful. Feel it, feel it. That's hot. Wow. Yeah, that's it's hot. Well, there's a burning alcohol in there, okay? Yes. So that's it. Now, here's the deal, guys. Um, there's still a little bit of fluid left in here. I'm going to pour it. 
I'm going to pour some out on the ground just okay. to show you. Can we light that on fire? Okay, why not? Let's okay, do there's it. a little bit. Now, okay, she is such a pyro. Go ahead, light it. Light it. Oh, now back away from the flame. Back away from the flame. <laughs> that is really hot. I mean, I can feel it from right it here. It is very hot. So that's how that's also how you light concrete on fire. But seriously, this is dangerous, people. Don't be doing this. <laughs> but if you are going to do it, that's how you do it. <laughs> All right. Well, that is it for today's Geek Bee Live. Thank you so much for joining us, and hopefully this stays in control while we're closing this show out. That's right. This is John P. You can find him on Twitter, at John Pose, P-O-Z, and same on Google+. And she is Callie Lewis, at Callie Lewis, on Google+, on Twitter, and everywhere else. We Thanks. will see you guys next week. Thanks so much to Drobo for sponsoring the episode again, and uh, thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you. Bye. Bye. Can hear again. Hang on. Uh, oh, uh, audio's back up. Audio's back up. Okay, cool. All right, we're gonna audio's head back, back up, inside. We're gonna go back inside. But could you guys, like you guys in the Google chat room, you had you had the premium premium view. Did you see it? Okay, how did it look? That's like always. <laughs> okay. okay, come on back in, guys. Come on in. Could you see the flames okay on the TV? Like out of the bottle? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. A little bit? Oh, really? Okay. Your smoldering hand grabbing the lip of the bottle was much more... That, ah. was, more, that was more fun? Okay, hang so on. So what'd you guys think? Enjoy? This is the after show. Oh. <laughs> All right, could you guys see that okay? Tony says, I think you could You've have done, done that, that with 100, 100 milliliters. milliliters. I think we could have, actually, but I tested it earlier, and it worked with about half that. And uh, <sighs> I didn't really want it, something to blow up in her face, especially not on camera. Right. So I figured we'd do it with a little bit less Well, you now. don't want to, you know, take, you don't want to be blamed for it, at least. I mean, no, if it weren't right. on camera, he could he could step away from the blame. If it was just me, I will, I, in fact, not, not, if, not if it was just me. Later on, after this, I will go out there and I will do 100 milliliters and then I'll do 150, I'll do 200. I Whoa. will keep upping it until... Isn't there a point where it's too much? There is no such thing as too much, okay? <laughs> they noticed my socks out there. Yes, I walk around um, yeah. in my socks around the office. We're a little casual around here. That we are, but it's still we still have fun. Yes. Um, uh, John, I, I hope, hope you, you washed, washed your hands. hands. Smell? Actually, you know what? You can't smell any Turn alcohol. It, it all, yeah, <laughs> the alcohol uh, has all evaporated. But of course, the good news is it was pure rubbing alcohol, so my hands are very clean and there sanitized. You, go. you need to do the thing where you put the alcohol on your hands and then just hold the fire. Oh yeah, and hold a ball of flaming yes. goo or whatever. Yes. Definitely. We need yeah. Brian Brushwood come and start doing shows over here. T cool. Tony Tony Town says I'm tempted to drive over and watch. Well, come on, <laughs> come on with your bad self, do it. So we are in the after show. We are. Where is everybody from? Yes. Okay, we guys. We always like to know. Check in time. Where are you physically located? Stay here. No. Speaking of check in, oh no, it's, oh. it's tomorrow, right? <laughs> yeah, but they can still no, check in. No, they can still check you in. Can, yeah. Check in to get glue. Yep, check in to get glue. Make sure you say San on Diego, get glue that Finland, you that you are actually watching right Minnesota, now. Minnesota, Denver, and, and Houston, like her, like her. Central. Hey, like her on get glue or whatever whatever it is you do to like people. Like give her a thumbs up on get Him glue. Him too. Hamburg, he's, he's Germany. More, he's more likable anyway. Uh, I'm in Malaysia on the surface of Earth. Mr. Jiggs says. That is a good South place Florida, to be. South Florida, Champaign, Illinois. Zim Unless. Plus. Unless you have the uh, space elevator, then That's true. it would not. Zenplex is in Luxembourg. Slovakia? Illinois. Wow. Wait. Uh, Connecticut why, on why Saturday. Is he, oh, then no, back that's... in New Hampshire. Lenhard, guitar guy. Champagne. Somerville. Soon to be underwater Somerville. <laughs> we need some Fruitland, rain here. Fruitland, Idaho. Fruitland, Idaho. That makes me hungry. That, uh, me too. Hurricane Irene. Oh, okay. So okay, we, so here's the other thing, guys. Uh, 
Uh, I, I hope you could see the flame shooting out of that bottle, but if yeah. you couldn't see it really well, it's okay. I'm going to do two things, okay? Thing number one, I am going to shoot that with our high speed yes. video at a thousand frames per second. Yes. So we can watch what happens in super ultra ridiculous slow mode. Absolutely. Just because I think it'll be cool. Number two, we're going to do it at night in the dark. Johanna's B360, I used to live in Chicago. So, yes, I was there for about three years. Love the city. He doesn't a, like it very much. We have a camera beeping that it's about to I die. Know. What camera is not? I don't know which camera, camera that is. Not, it was the unboxing one, right? Or is that, is it's yeah, we'll, we'll be releasing the slow-mo video of that as soon as we can get it processed. Now, keep in mind right that we are traveling, so that's going to kind of delay things a bit. Uh, Again, we're going to Berlin, Germany next week, and then LA, and then Cedia in Indianapolis. So we had another. We had another package that you wanted to unbox today. I really did want to unbox it today, but we were running out of time. We'll Our timekeeper was like, "Wrap it up." We'll 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 uh, unbox it tomorrow. Yeah, I can wait another day. Okay. We will unbox it's a, it it's it's one thing that we were that we saw at uh, at uh, the CEA line shows in New York. How do you know what it is? Well, it says on the box. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, I was asking for it and begging for it, so I can't wait. I'm definitely taking it with me on my trip. I know that. You are. Yes. I don't even know what it is. That's okay. You don't have to. You're taking it on which trip? The one to Germany or yeah. the one to Indianapolis? No, both. You're gonna take it to both? Yeah. What could it possibly be that would warrant the great Callie Lewis <laughs> taking it on every trip with her? You guys are going to have to wait and, si and find out. Join uh, us live tomorrow. tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern. Same time? Same time. Same bat channel? Same bat channel. Okay. Same bat channels. Okay. With the three. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to get going. We need to go light that on fire again. Oh my God! And I record can't wait. it in slow motion for you guys to see uh, up close and personal. Wait, Thank Flatworm Shake oh. says, "Get glue." Question: Do yes. you at Livid Lobster have the GBL live check-in turned on for this Thursday stream? No. Uh, no? Apparently not. I did. Oh. 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 Oh, oh, I didn't sorry. know it was time related. Yeah, I didn't realize it was. T oh, you have to be watching live to actually check wow. in. Wow. Oh. When, when these are rerun, yeah. at, on the appropriate dates, we will have those on. Yeah. When, well, oh, right. When yeah. They're, when they're run on their appropriate dates. When they're running on TV too, I'll make sure that that's happening. Okay. Wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. I didn't realize it. So you're telling me we've got like 30 some odd thousand check-ins on the Geek Beat Live show. Mm -hmm. Which means those were all conducted during the actual show. Wow, that's amazing. That's pretty cool. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Have I told you how much I love you? And uh, to answer the great Haldini, I'm sorry, we do have to go because we have so much prep work to do in order to get ready to go to Germany on Monday morning. I have to record some shows. And uh, we have but to pack and all this good UD stuff. UD Jill wants to know, have you ever been to Germany before? No, I have not been. Uh, so I'm very much looking forward to it. Hopefully yes. I get to see some of it. Usually when we travel, it's bam, 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 go, 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 go. And we never really get to see the city. Yeah. But I'm going to try. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We're going to be working a lot. But we're going to... We're gonna, we're going to bring you guys some awesome stuff. Yes, and... What time? In just... In just a little while, in about three, two and a half more hours. I want you guys to come back to this channel because Real Geniuses is going to be streaming. Yeah. Right here. Real Geniuses, right here. <laughs> hey, hey, can, can right here. Right there, Real right here. Geniuses. That show. Oh, oh no, but not that one. The other one. Real watch Geniuses. Your, watch you introduce Devin, to the audience Devin, come over here. Come on over. Get your butt over here, Devin. Hey, 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 hey. And Devin, yes. Devin is also our latest rock star product reviewer. Hi. That's right. How are you, Devin? I'm great, John. How are you? I am excellent. Are is you, this the hand that you just burned? It, no, it's this one. Are you? Um, it smells like bacon. Crispy? Yeah. <laughs> um, are you, are you going to review anything cool today? We've actually got a review of Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, uh, the Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro remake of a 75 TV movie that scared the crap out of me when I was really? five years old. Really? Okay. Absolutely. Uh, my Our Idiot Brother with Paul Rudd. 
Mm. I want to see that. No, I think. Don't. Okay, no. maybe I don't. No. Maybe no. I don't. Also, we've got a conversation with Zoe Saldana, who you might know from Star Trek or The Losers, oh. and she's got a new movie coming out this week called Columbiana. And we get to talk with her about her character and process and just our hearts melt whenever we're in the room with Zoe Saldana. <laughs> nice. so there you have it. The greatest movie review show on earth. It's awesome. Right these here. Guys, these are guys are fantastic. So 8 two p.m. Hours, two hours. 22 point, 22 hours, 22 minutes, and 19 oh. seconds from now. Wow, I was trying to figure out what you were calculating there. 2 a.m. GMT, 8 p.m. Central. That's right. Be here. Yep. I will. <laughs> Absolutely. Fine. Bye, guys. Okay, thanks, Bye. Devin. Geek, be in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. We always love hanging out with you. Uh, Wait, Nergy Van said, can we put you, the website, which we got the week. bookcases for every the cops in? Every show, John. Every show. I know, but they have questions. I have to answer them. The, book, the website <laughs> for the book... No. The, web, <laughs> the website <laughs> for the bookcases is on live.com or... Geekbeat.tv forward slash live30. Is it? All those questions that it they're asking, be. send them in and they can get a lens pen. That's right. Oh, in, in fact, I totally, I screwed that because we were, we were getting run. That's right. You guys time. don't ask us questions in the chat room. You get nothing for that. You get nothing for that. You just get answers. What you need to do is you need to ask it to us on video. You need to send us the link to... Upload it to YouTube.com to your own private channel and send us the link via email to questions at geekbeat.tv. We'll put you on the show and guess what? We'll also send you two lens pens. I said two. two we'll send you two Livid Lobster lens pens. You can, there's only one way to get them. By sending questions. By sending in your question. That's it. There's no other way. That but is but all. Here, you know, if you're shy on camera, as we said last week, get your kids to do it. Get uh, a puppet or your stuffed animal or whatever. People mogul, use stuffed animals, right? Because I do. Jake, mobile Jick you says, totally missed my joke. I heard it was hilarious. I'm laughing in the inside. What, what if I want to ask when I'm getting my lens pin? There's a huge box of lens pins sitting there. What we're trying to do is we've got to wait till we've got like 100 of them because we ship them in bulk. So I'm sorry, it, it's not quite there yet, but they will be going out soon. Yes. It won't be much longer. Exactly. It will not be much longer, okay? Oh, wait, the whole lens pin thing with the questions, is that US only? Oh. Don't hate us. No, no, it's not. It's not. <sighs> Are if you, you sure? send in a question, I don't care if you're in Hamburg, Germany. I don't care if you're in... Well, we'll just bring it to you. The, Ger the German ones you can mail locally. If you're in Germany, I will bring it to you personally. <laughs> <laughs> Except that you have to meet us at the conference center where that's we are. That's right, that's right. But if you're anywhere else, I'll still send it to you, okay? So, record those videos and send them to us. <laughs> we'll put Jake you on says, TV. I can has famous? Yes, I can has famous. <laughs> Okay, guys, Alrighty. we got to go. We'll talk to you later. Bye.